Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another edition of the Spotlight Raven Series. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University. Joining me, a senior from the cross country and track and fields teams, is Ian Leatherman. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Um, I hope everyone else is. Everything is going on. To give a brief introduction, um, Ian, he's, got, he's had some all-conference honors four times in cross country, including a third place finish in his junior year. He, during indoor track and field, he's also earned all-conference on three different occasions, has three different third place finishes in the conference meet, with two of them coming in the 5,000 and another coming in the 3,000. To kick things off, uh, before we get into things, what did um, what are some other things that you're involved with on campus? Well, I'm a mechanical engineering student, so that kind of takes up a lot of my time. But I'm also a members of or a member of the honors program. Okay, and I and ties into um, what I was just about to ask your major and minor. Yeah, it does tie into. I don't have a minor. Uh, mechanical engineering proved to be enough. It's about 80 credit hours, so. Oh, okay. It's almost like two majors there, basically. Um, who is your inspiration and why? I would have to say my inspiration is my entire family. They've kind of pushed me along, uh, been good examples for how I can lead a good life as a Christian or just in general, and I want to kind of just work hard so they know that their hard work of raising me was all worth it. All right. What is your driving force slash motivation? It took me a little bit to think of this one, but it really just comes down to the fact that I just want to glorify God in everything I say, think, and do. And I believe the best way to do that is to um, do everything I do to the best of my ability. Okay. Um, what is your favorite aspect about sports? I enjoy the competition. Uh, really, that's it. I like seeing, especially in uh, cross country and track, who gets out there and who just has essentially the most guts to compete, who's going to uh, try their hardest and really put it all out there for that day. All right. What is your favorite non-athletic memory at Anderson? It would probably be uh, my junior year of spring break. We or me, my two roommates, and a few more friends road tripped all the way out to Cleveland, Ohio to see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and stayed out there for a few days, and it was just a blast. Okay. Um, what is your favorite athletic memory at Anderson? This one came at my last meet. I didn't know it was going to be my last meet, but it was our final indoor meet of the season this year. We put together a distant athlete versus the coaches four by four team and the athletes ended up winning by I want to say less than half a second it was really close but it was, it was at it was, it was in the ballpark of like a tenth of a second maybe, yeah, maybe it, a little bit more but it was in that area yeah I think yeah it was actually yeah about a tenth of a second it was one of the best four by fours I've ever seen if you don't look at the times it was just fun to compete in as well all right. Um, what are your favorite hobbies? Well, I do like to run, which is good for my sport, because I, even though I'm kind of done with that now, I still get out and run most days. But I also like to play guitar, and a stereotypical college guy, I do play some video games. All right. And then what is a uh, little known but amazing fact about yourself? Amazing may not be the right word for it, but I have managed to dislocate my shoulders a total of five times. Uh, my left one four times and my right one uh, once. Most of it was playing basketball or water skiing, so it was athletic type stuff. But. Okay. Uh, why did you choose Anderson? I visited lots of different places, and in the end, Anderson just kind of felt like the right place that not necessarily felt like home, but it was something close enough to home that it just felt like it was where I needed to be for at least four years. All right. Uh, what is your favorite class in Anderson and why? I have really enjoyed the senior design class and the engineering program because 
I have liked being able to come up with a project and then work on that project and actually get something of a working model throughout the class. All right. Um, who is your favorite professor and wh why? Kind of hesitant to say this one. I really actually, um, thinking about it, I figured I wouldn't say who it was, but I would have to say um, all the way back to freshman and sophomore year, Dr. Coons in the engineering department. He was just, I don't know, relatable, I guess. And he was good to talk to. He was engaging in class and I really enjoyed it. All right. Um, what are your plans after graduation? Well, I'm looking at a few things. Uh, I'm looking at the Master's of Business Administration program here on campus. I'd be a graduate assistant for the engineering department, which I think would be a lot of fun. I'd be doing some recruiting for them, some working in the engineering lab on campus. And I'm also looking at a few jobs in the Indianapolis area as a mechanical engineer. All right. And then what do you want your lasting legacy to be at Anderson? I really just want to be remembered for something. Hopefully it's something athletic related or engineering related, but if I can just be remembered a little bit, then I think. All right. And then going into our next segment of questions, a few superlatives. First two on the, uh, on either team is the Joker prankster best sense of humor. Um, I would have to say Caleb Buczynski. Um, he's a freshman, but he's definitely come in there and uh, shaken it up a bit. Okay. Um, who on the team is most outgoing? That would have to be, there's a few of them. Um, either, depends on the day, Mariah Murray. But just in general, it's probably Noel Lohler or uh, Drew DeBoer. Okay. And then... Who on the team is the best trash talker? That would be Caleb Buczynski again. He's, I don't know, he's got an act for it. Okay, I got a bonus one for you. I'm um, drop this on you a little bit. What is your, uh, what's, the, what's the farthest you've ran? Farthest I've ran, that's, I wanna say close to 12 and a half miles. So. Okay. Really should be running the mini marathon. I was trying to do that sometime this spring, but we'll see how that works out. All right, going into the um, going into further questions, what is your favorite quote? It is from MythBusters. It is if it is worth doing, it's worth overdoing. No, well, I think Adam Savage said that quite a few times, and it kind of stuck with me. Okay, uh, what is your favorite candy? I absolutely love Gobstoppers. Okay. What, um, what is your favorite band slash artist? Uh, the Killers are my favorite band. Okay. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie would have to be Back to the Future. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite TV show? That would have to be Chuck. All right. What is your favorite pre-game meal? Uh, it is, even though I'm not a big fan of sandwiches, just about every meat I have, I eat a uh, was it honey ham and American cheese sandwich on whole wheat bread. All right. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? I actually wanted to be an astronaut. Okay. What is your favorite type of pizza? It is a bacon cheeseburger pizza. And then what is your, in regards to cross country, indoor track and field and outdoor track and field, what is your favorite season? I like cross country the best. I like being outside and on the course and all that fun stuff. Okay. And then finally, if you can invite three people to dinner, Dead or alive, who would they be? That would be Elvis Presley, Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, and Ronald Reagan. All right, I think I think I've got all of my questions. Um, Ian, thank you for taking this time for this interview. Ravens fans, thank you for tuning in. We will continue to have more 
Spotlight Raven series episodes next week. So we will see you next see you next week.